beautiful people today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create these beautiful grungy tags i had posted a video of the process on my instagram and some of you all said you all would like a step-by-step -step tutorial some of you all also wanted a list of supplies and so i'm going to be taking you through all of that in this video today so stay tuned for this project i'm going to be using the tim holtz distress watercolor cardstock Stampers Anonymous Faded Type and the Professor 2 stamp sets. You will need waterproof ink to stamp with. If you have archival ink, that will work. I'm going to be using a Stazon in Jet Black. The Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stains in Old Paper. Bundled Sage. Rusty Hinge. And Vintage Photo. And for my splatters, I'm going to be using black suit and tarnish brass. The stencils I'm going to be using are the Tim Holtz layering stencils in numeric and industrial, the Tim Holtz opaque crackle paste and a spatula, the Tim Holtz watercolor pencils Set 1, I'm going to be using Fired Brick, Rusty Hinge and Black Suit. As a top coat, I'm using the Dina Wakeley's Clear Gesso. I know that gesso is generally used as a primer, but I like to add a layer on top because I think it brings out the color of my spray stains and it dries matte, which I really love. An alternative for the gesso would be the Tim Holtz Collage Medium, so feel free to use that, or you could also completely skip this step. To ink around my tag, I'm using the Distress Ink in Walnut Stain. For my main elements, I'm using one of the Rusty Gauges from my Etsy shop. I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box. Tim Holtz also has gauge dials. So feel free to use that if you have those on hand. And I'm going to be pairing that with the Tim Holtz paper dolls. To add texture, I'm going to be using some gauze. You can also use cheesecloth or even muslin. And to further embellish, I will be using some thread and twine, metal brads, paper clips, and other metal embellishments.
Using watercolor pencils, I'm adding shadows around my stencil shapes. This adds contrast to the tag, allowing the stencil numbers to stand out. I'm using black suit for this. I'm now going in with a wet paintbrush to blend all of that out. There are two ways that you can add color to your crackle paste. I usually use a second method, but for the sake of this demonstration, I will be showing you both. Method 1 is using the Distress Watercolor Pencils to add some stains to the crackle paste. I'm going in with Fired Brick and Rusty Hinge and coloring directly over the numbers, adding water to my pencil and very gentle pressure while coloring. Quick note that once you add gesso over this, you will lose majority of the color you put down, but it leaves a really subtle stain to the crackle paste, so if subtle is what you like, then this technique works really well. But if you like what your tag looks like right now, feel free to skip the gesso altogether. I am now adding gesso to seal it in. If you're using watercolor pencils, this would be your last step before you add your elements to your tag. Method 2 is adding spray stains over the crackle paste. The drops of spray stain fall onto the crackle paste giving it this very cool mosaic broken glass effect which I really like. This is the kind of crunch that I look for on my tags. I'm also going to be adding splatters using the black suit spray stain. And this is the look that you can achieve with this technique. I am now inking the edges of my tag. And we're finally done creating our tag background. Now all that's left to do is add your elements. This is where you have complete creative freedom, so have fun with it. Feel free to watch till the end to see how my tag turned out.
And here's what the tag looks like. I hope you find this technique useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like the video. And if you use this technique on your projects, please share it with me on Instagram. My socials are linked in the description box. That's it for me. I'll see you guys on the next video.